my channel. My name is Marina. I'm a fashion, lifestyle, and travel content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, and my blog. Let me scroll back a little. I feel like I'm too much in your faces. And my blog, I heard my lady in your closet. I feel like this is better, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you're new here and just don't play across this video and you just see me for the first time, welcome, my friend. I am so happy that you're here. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the noise. There's loud cars passing in the back. <laughs> like I said, I'm a fashion lifestyle. This is what you get for living downtown. Okay? Now let's get back into the video. If you're new here, welcome again. Uh, welcome. <laughs> um, I'm a fashion, lifestyle, and travel content creator here on YouTube, Instagram, and my blog at Hermelania Closet. From the topic, we're going to be reviewing this bag behind me. If you're all returning, welcome back, sis. I am so happy you came back again. If you've never turned on a notification bell, this is your chance to do that. Okay? Um... Quick outfit check before we get into the video. This is a crop top shirt situation. Um, I'll try to see if the brand still has it. I forgot the name of the brand and I'll put it in the description below. I can pop a picture on the screen of the time I wore it. I really love this. I have this in two colors. You should definitely check it out. Okay, um, let's get into the video. Okay, today we're going to be reviewing my first kit spade bag. Oh my God, now I've known about Kit Spade. I've purchased jewelries from them, a lot more jewelries than bags. So when I saw this bag back in October, the bag behind me, we're gonna go through it really soon, I was instantly obsessed. Now, I wasn't willing to put the $500 price tag at the time. So, excuse me, I kept hoping it would go on sale and the good law favored me and it went on sale for Black Friday. So it was 50% off. So instead of paying 500 bucks, I paid 250 for it and chef case. I love it. So I'm going to bring the bag up first. It is a tote bag. Um, let's get into the detail, the design first, and then we'll review the bag. This is a cheetah on the bag she is just perfecto i'm here for that we're gonna get more into the bag and review the things i love about it but like i said this is my very let me go back a little bit more this is my very first kit spade purchase now this bag like I said, I got it during Black Friday. It was on sale. Let's get into the bag. And for first glance, is it is a tote bag. I bought this um, intentionally for traveling. I do have a luxury tote bag, but I wanted a more structured version. So currently, I have the Never Fall Louis Vuitton bag. And as we all know, she's not really structured. So I was looking for something very, very structured that when I'm traveling, I can use. And she was, she's a giver. As, as you can see, she's very, very structured. Um, I'll find the name of the bag and put it on the screen. I know they have a name for it, but she's very, very structured. That was one that sold me on. The scrap, as you can see, is leather. So that's 100% leather strap, which I really like. And then the leather detail is going around on the bag for you to see, okay? The leather, I love that the green that they use on the handle is the same green leather detail to put all around the bag. I really love that. And I think it's the same green at the bottom as well, as you can see. And then they have like the little foot underneath it. This metal underneath. So before I go in detail, just before you pick up your wallet and run to the website, this particular bag is sold out. I really, I, I know this is bad news. This particular design is sold out. However, there is a exact same design, exact same design but different color. Okay, let me let me let me let me repeat myself. This particular color with the cheetah in front is sold out, but there's another burnt design, another color which I put in the description below, okay? Let me make that clear before you go running. My apologies, okay. Now let's get back into the bag. It does have uh, the Kit Spade name tag. Let me turn it around on this as well. It's also the same shade of green on the 
handle. It also has the, um, I love the little hanging dazzle of, had charm. This is a charm that I have on it. And it have a kiss bait right there. Um, inside of the bag, um, sorry I forgot to bring this with me when I started recording. It does have a scrap that you can do and hang it on. I personally won't do that. That's why I didn't bring it to part of this video. But I have a long scrap that you can use and turn this into a shoulder bag if you want to. Also in the inside, um, I do have a inside console that I bought to put inside but I'm going to review that later. Let me show you the inside of the bag. This is the inside of the bag. It's very deep inside as you can see. It have a lot of pockets inside. First it is this zipper. If I can catch it, there's a zipper pocket right there and then next underneath that same pocket there's another pocket right here for you to see. Let me come closer so you can see this. There's another pocket and there's a zipper pocket as well. And then the kit spit um, information is in there. On the other side, again, it has another zipper. Did I flip it around for you to not see what I was meant to see? No, I flipped it the right way. <laughs> it do have a into patches. So you could turn this into like a wallet. They have like three rows of patches or two that you can turn into like your own card wallet. You don't have to carry a card wallet, a card holder if you don't want to. But I have those inside well, inside as well. So I thought that was really good use of the design inside laid out. And then the t the entire fabric inside it have the Kiss Bay logo all over inside Kiss Bay New York Kiss Bay New York all over on the fabric. The fabric inside is not leather. Um, it's actual fabric, but it's a really strong fabric. I don't know how to how to describe that, but it's complete fabric in the inside of it. Um, it does have these two hooks that you can hook to connect to close the bag which is good if you don't want people seeing inside of your bag when you're traveling i really like that about it like i said i have this section right here these two metals to cook the strap to it to turn it into a carry-on uh a one shoulder bag it's a really, really, really structural and durable bag. The, the material on the outside is not leather, though. Um, I don't know what material it is, um, but it's really, really strong. Looking at this, I feel like they kind of hand beat something on this. Obviously, the tiger on the front is like a really giver. It reminds me so much of a Gucci, one of these Gucci bags. I think that's what sold me so much on this bag as well, um, to, to have as a travel bag. We saw the inside, we saw the fabric. Let's kind of see what all I put in this. I used this when I went on my last trip. So I bought, although it's structural, you really don't need an inside console like this, but I bought it because for organizing and traveling, I want it to be more organized in the inside. So I got this from Amazon. I can put a link down to them. This was actually inside of my Never Fold Louis Vuitton bag. I took it off and put it in here. I stopped reaching for the Louis Vuitton bag, like I said, it's really hard to use if you don't have this. So I I wanted something else, so that's why I got this. So it just literally sit in there, which is perfect. You don't have to do much. It's literally just sit down inside of it. And that's it. Now let's see what all I can fit in here, and we can go from there. Um, I have stuff right here. Let me bring, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this to the front and then we can kind of package it together how about that okay <laughs> because i brought a lot of stuff to see how much can fit the bag itself is actually very heavy by itself so be careful with how much stuff you put inside because it's such a good quality bag i think this is probably like close to 10 pounds if i'm if i'm not mistaken it's actually really heavy it's not like it's not a light bag okay um obviously when i'm traveling with this it'll, when i'm using this i'll be using it for travel so we'll put things that i'll actually take on trip with me so first off it is my ipad this is the 10 inch ipad so it fit right in the i just i set it right in the never fall <laughs> Uh, not the number four. Let me start calling that. I set it right inside of the little council organizer that I put in there. And then next up, it is my laptop. This is my MacBook. I think this is up to 15 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. 
that goes right in there as well and then my headphones I just set it right there um, in the inside of it again it's very organized now right now it have gotten really heavy though so again remember to pack light the bag is heavy and I put at least 25 10 to 25 pounds of things in there already so be mindful of that okay um, I travel with a lot of stuff so you don't have to carry all of that um, my wallet kids this have my actual debit card holder my card holder some gum some change and then just lay in there and then next up obviously my phones will go there my actual phone my business phone and then it just all go in one of these pockets that are already in there so those are how much that is how much stuff i put in there and it actually is very heavy right now as you can see i have to hold it with both hands but the point is it has enough room to take a lot of stuff if you're a new mommy you can make this your dapper bag um, if you want to travel in style, obviously, um, if you're a boss, you want your own, your own business, you can definitely make this like a work to work bag. Um, for me, I personally, I won't use it as a work bag because it's really huge. The size is really wild, as you can see. I don't know how to measure it, but we'll put the dimensions on the screen so you can see how wide it is. Again, this is so out. I have linked similar style bag in the bottom for you to check out. The exact same thing, it's just the color and the design that is different. But yeah, this is my very first kids bag. I really like this bag. I got so many compliments when I took it to Puerto Rico with me. A lot of people asked me where I'm from. If you followed me on Instagram, I had linked it on my, um, when I bought it for Black Friday, I did link it. Again, it's all gone. This is like this. It was 50% off from $500 to 250 It was a good purchase. So, but yeah, this is gone. I will have linked similar version of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing more reviews. Um, if you watched my New Year welcome video, um, I'll put it in the description. I told you guys I'll be doing more some luxury items, and I feel like this was a good first luxury item review. This is not on the expensive side of luxury, but it, as you all know, Kispe is a luxury brand, um, but it's an affordable luxury brand. So I really like that. The quality is good, and I really love this bag. It's going to be with me on most trip like that. Take, because I love to travel in style. Don't come for me. I just like what I like. Okay? <laughs> but okay, that's bringing me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell and you'll receive notification of every content I post. It's, with that being said, you can follow me on Instagram. I have millennialcloset.com. I have millennialcloset. And my blog. I have my new closer that come. Okay? And similar bags I link in the description below. If you like review video like this, there's some in the description as well. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!